Good evening, bookies. My name is Hannah, and welcome back to Top 10 Tuesdays. Okay, so this is episode 2 of my new series, Top 10 Tuesdays, which of course will be coming out every Tuesday, and today's theme is Top 10 Series I Have Yet to Finish. Now I'm being a little specific about these, um, I think there's only one in my pile that I haven't finished because I haven't bought the second book or the third book, but the rest of them are I haven't finished because I just haven't wanted to. Like um, I own the rest of the series but I just haven't gotten the motivation to finish it. So let's get started. So the first book on this list is Divergent by Veronica Roth. I haven't finished this series. I started Insurgent a long time ago. I do own all of them. I just haven't wanted to finish it because I do know how Allegiant ends. I was spoiled for it and just I just didn't want to finish it after I was spoiled. I didn't feel like I needed to and when I was spoiled I was extremely disappointed and so I just I haven't picked them up yet and I don't know if I ever will. Number two, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I have the next one of this series and my little sister loves this series and I think they're coming out with a movie or TV series for it. I did not like this book very much. I only bought the second one because it was kind of cheap and I thought maybe if I reread this book maybe I'd want to pick it up again but I really didn't like this book. There, like, I feel like as far as I remember and it was a long time ago that I read this there really wasn't a lot going on in this book. And like the ending was, the ending was pretty good, but other than that, it's not very memorable. I don't remember anything really that happened in this book. Next book. Number three, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. I have a reason I haven't picked up the second one, because it's doing something in this book that I hate when they do this in series. I hate it to death, is they actually like build up a relationship between two characters in the first book, and it's amazing. And then the second book, they split up the two characters for the whole second book. I don't know if that happens in the second book, but it seems like it does. And I just have a lost interest. I don't want to read it if my two characters are split up. So I don't know. Don't take my word for it. But just if they split them up, then I'm out. I don't want to read it anymore. Next book. Number four. Gone by Michael Grant. I don't own any of the other books. This was a great book. I read the second one of this book but I never picked up the third one and I picked up the second one at the end of my senior year so by then it was like oh well I can't pick up the third one because I'm out of high school now and I always forget what order they're in and they have the cover changes now and I can't have the first one looking like this and the second one looking like this. Do you see my problem? But uh, hopefully one day I will pick these up again. Number five, The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I haven't read the Heroes of Olympus series yet. This is the only one I've read. I started on the second one. I've started on the second one twice now. And the last time I started on it, I got pretty damn far in it. I got like probably near to the end, probably like that far, that close to the end, and I just dropped it. I just put it down and I never picked it up again, and I don't know whatever happened, and I hear great things about this series, and I do hopefully will pick this up again in the future. I finished all the Percy Jackson series super quick, too, like, I went right through them, and then, like, the Lost Hero, the Heroes of Olympus series, I kind of just, I think it's because I think it's because they split up my two favorite characters again, so it's always a problem. <laughs> Number six, the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon. This is a big series. That is my only excuse. Is this is a huge series? There are so many books in this series, and they're all kind of bigger. And I don't know. I feel like I need a refresher course on what happened. I know I can watch the TV series because the TV series did pretty good following along the book, but I do want to kind of relive the moments, and so 
I don't know, I'll probably get to this, but it'll probably not be for a very, very long time. I'm sorry, it's going to take a while to get back to this. Number 7. The Luxe Series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I finished this one and I finished Consequences, but I haven't even started Opposition left. I did love the series. This is a great series. Um, this is kind of the one where I don't know what happened with this one. I finished, I finished Consequences, but I don't know why I didn't start Opposition. I owned it too. I owned all of them. But like, opposition happened, I got to, I finished Consequences, I was like, yes, Consequences, it's another huge book, you know, under my belt, and then I get opposition, and I'm just like, nah, I'm not gonna read that, not right now, and I don't understand why, so weird. Number eight, Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook. I read the first, and the second, did I read the third? I did, I did read the third. Um, my sister owns all this. I don't own all of it, but she does, so I can read it anytime I want. And I love this series. I just don't know what happened. That's sad, because this is an amazing series, and I just didn't want to read it anymore. I think what happens is I finish one book, and then I have to wait a while for the next book, and I just don't feel like reading the next book, or I've forgotten everything that happens. And as I always say, I can't reread, so that's a really big problem. But if you want a good series, there you are. Mm, moving on. Number nine. The Cinder series, The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I finished Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress, and then I had to wait for winter. And Ferris did come out, and I did start reading Ferris, but I never finished Ferris. And so what kind of happened is the same thing. Is there a tag in here? There's a tag in here. I didn't read it very well. Um, I like this series. I actually love this series, but I hate waiting between books. That's the thing that kills me. That's why I haven't started Lady Lady Midnight, is because I know if I read Lady Midnight and then Lord of Shadows, I'm gonna have to wait for Queen of Air and Darkness, and I'm never gonna pick up Air and Darkness. And so I'm just waiting. I know it's probably irritating some of you because I haven't read Lady Midnight yet, but I will get to it, I promise. It, Queen of Air and Darkness should be coming out fall, so in like almost a year, but hopefully, hopefully I can just go right through those. And I know Cassandra Clare is coming out with something new, so hopefully I can read that too. And speaking of Cassandra Clare, we come to our number 10. Yeah, number 10. That is the Moral Instrument series. I haven't finished the series. I've gotten to City of Lost Souls. I haven't read, I think I've read City of Lost Souls. I have read City of Lost Souls. I haven't read City of Heavenly Fire. But I did finish her Immortal Devices series. And so that's kind of good. But I haven't finished this. And so I don't know quite what's going on anymore. I do, I am going to reread these. I promise I will. I know I suck at rereading. But I'm going to do it. So yeah, hopefully. That is it for my 10 series I haven't finished yet. I will be getting to some of these soon, I promise. I will finish them one day and then when I do this video again I'm going to have to think of all new answers which will not be hard. And that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on. Hey guys, I'm Hannah at Gab Books and today me and my sister who and you are going to meet in just a few seconds. We are doing the siblings tag, so she is sitting behind the camera.